All right, good morning friends, this is Jeff Arcos. Welcome again to the daily webinar. Today we are 9th of August 2019. Remind you this one is not meant to be a financial advice. This is only a education presentation. Please consider a term and condition before you continue. Same when you're receiving this recording. Oh, we didn't do Palm Canadian. Um, and give it thanks uh, for another day into my life and I pray his blessings to that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we didn't do the Palm Canadian and they said, and then unfortunately I will need to rush it off today. Pound card, pound card. There is, is the pound card over here. All right, and we finished with that. I don't know. I think I did pound card, but it doesn't show in the list. I should have thought about it. So pound card. You know that if you are you don't try the pound crosses, you will definitely do a favor to yourself. <laughs> These garrisons can be. All right, so let's just start at our day. Let's look at the charts and uh, quickly through there so we can um, there. So Euro US, Monday, Tuesday, uh, we're supposed to have a trade. The market comes 14 day, pips off Thursday and uh, Friday. Now, as we see, this is say euro down, but in the four hours, we'll see that that could be just a base for, you know, uh, in ABC in that direction. So that's that's what I see there at the moment. So I will hold that one there. Pound US is different, and today we got a sell set up. And now this is with the train. So that's actually, I forgot to put it there. This is the number one strategy. So I trade the break. So I'm looking for the break over there with 10 pips below when it's like that. So that could be, remember, this is just a retracement that it is, and that's the break on the pound US. Um, so yeah, that's the, that. Now, you see here what I said, we need to put 10 pips instead of five because this one can get, so 40 pips is gone. This is a nasty week this week, and I don't have winners to upset actually this week. So yeah, anyway. We take the, the bad with the good ones, and that's all. So yeah, with this kind of currencies, you know, it can be five pips. It has to be 10 pips, something that I need to remember myself. Strata US is being a strike for down, looking this down, now it's pulling up. And today we got quite interesting. This is the four hours uh, scenario over here. So the first thing I, I just feel like here is, you know, the midpoint to, to look. We have an incredible uh, support level on the weekly as well on the monthly bouncing up. and uh, But this is the major trend. Now, when I'm looking on my original index meter, uh, Australia has done nothing. So the beauty of this one is that uh, they are not impressed with every single move into the market. And um, yeah, so it's more than a trending scenario. You know, this you know what the that index mid understand this is just a pullback from there so you know whether we want to be aggressive today or wait for an abc on the bullish could be a good idea as well so um, that it is so new zealand us the same thing uh we thought that we that was a yeah, tricky one so not try from that then the market did go in the direction now, when you see a break like that, you see UP, you know, now the market is continuing from there. That's what we normally say, but the next day come up and stop my house from there. So at least I got a break even, which is quite nice. Um, this one was a very crazy risky, you know, against the weekly trend. I was just mainly guiding for this line chart touch. Beautiful there, everything there, and then just come up and got the trade and got a stop power straight away. Then we look at the long, the long got trigger, move by stop loss, I think it is uh, over there. And then today actually got stop power. So tomorrow we'll see there. Now we got at a, and again, you know, this, you know, while this train is up, we're taking every retracement just on the way up. And um, yeah, so that's what it is. US Swiss was quite different. So market uh, start pulling up. And uh, right in that pullback, we did, um, that was in the night time when I did a webinar. So we did that. 
and the market has traveling through until now today so today we continue having us um, um, you know, a way down so so yeah so hopefully this ones will be the winners and upset some pain that I got it with the other one yeah anyway so that's a uh, USDN we got a nice um, trade break out of the trend line so precisely uh, the USDN does today so it's been traveling through the whole the whole thing until that moment euro yen uh that's the retracement big retracement and suddenly we did we come at london time and we saw that one there and we say yep that's a trade and then just the market pulled the next day uh painfully but now today it is back again with the second order so we got now a day down and the euro yen and the way down from there here we um we got that one in uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and that was the the game, the London time. So we came over there. We come at the twelve hours over here. We looked that one there. We put the tray, and um, and again we got a stop power, unfortunately. But it's back again now with the second try. Pound yen is still weak over there. Yeah. So that's that's one of the weeks that uh, things happen. You know, it's really no up to us. We are not in control on those those things. It's, it's just the way it is. Um, Australian yen pulls over here. Um, was looking for the touch after the, the market did over there. So the touch came and bring me down over there. So I did everything that I normally do. You know, it's just that's the market. So I can I can stress myself. You know that no strategy is a hundred percent. That's what money management has to be there. You can just jumping, you know, into into trades that um, uh, you think is this is the one, and you 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 know never let the the success of the last week, you know, jumping in there and it's gonna work all the time. No, it's not. So that's how it's important that we need to get into that. New Zealand yen down, 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 stopping me there. Market pulls got a beautiful trade on the pullback over there. And the same thing, so everything is according to the books. And I think in New Zealand yen, uh, forgot to do the snipping tool. Yeah, it's still alive in that, but a very threatening coming over there. So I'm still hold, holding my stop loss up. Now New Zealand is strong over there. Now when I'm looking at my other index meter, New Zealand actually hasn't changed uh, there. So there it is. So. That's that's one of the beauties of this one. We'll review a little bit more. Um, Lawrence was not yesterday in the lesson we did, and I didn't see that um, you downloaded. So this is uh, another one continuation. The market breaks. The stop loss at least wasn't uh, quite interesting there. And um, I don't know Canadian yen. I was just in a rush to do this. Uh, Canadian yen got a stop out. Yeah, with that, with that. But at least the stop was very small so i can handle a, a small losses there this one i don't know if this one continue looking at this because this can be very very painful this currency um and uh, at least i got a break even there um and um, then after that we don't see anything else. that's how nasty could become this one at the end of the day euro australia i think this is when we were looking already and um yeah oh okay you have this week or la oh, the next week Lawrence you say oh this week so you save <laughs> that's that's cool <laughs> Yeah, it's good to be, you know, sometimes missing this. So this one was a nice break. Now, I was aware with this kind of breaks like this one because the market really can, um, you know, um, respond very negative from there. And, uh, yeah, so big moves, big pullbacks. And uh, I think at the moment, you know, especially the euro and the pound crosses should be leave it alone. No, you know, that's, that's the big moves anyway. All right, let's just finish with that. Uh, we already looked the other ones. Let's look quickly what happened with the dollar. 
and um, there it is. So we were looking to buy over there, but now it seems like a, yeah, that's that uh, the dollar wants to come down uh, from that level, but today it is still no, um, no, no other. So let's have a look what happened with the dollar over here. Yeah, actually the dollar has a day down today. And um, therefore, if I look there from uh, the euro, well, euro US should be looking to go long. The pound should be looking to go long, which is not. Australia definitely is in his way up. So this is neutral, but this one is coming down. We don't like it. New Zealand, maybe no, stayed away. Swiss, as I say, that's uh, uh, so US, Swiss, we should be looking to go short. So if this is negative over there. Uh, Swiss is here and the US is there so that's that's how um, so that it is so the US is down Swiss is up like I said it's um, sometimes could be painful that the yen is continuous strong the yen so the US yen is nice to to go down in um, Canadian send direction so therefore we not touch that one there uh, and that's it. So that's that's how how we look over there. Now this is the the week over there. Things can change. It, so I will be looking later today. What happened over there? Whether the twelve hours is telling me something different, but we'll see what happened with that one. So goal. Um, yes, yeah, just making a pause at the moment. It hasn't come back to the midline. So. That's what I mean when the dollar and gold dry, uh, going together, one of these are wrong. So now possible, we say that the dollar is now, you know, will will come down um, to the, to to this one over here. And oil, um, so that's continue nice. And we set up over there. As you see, the trade zone works on that, and, and this is what the, the thing of that, um, you know, the, I never expect that the, the my strategies will work, you know, 100% because I know they don't. And this is why we need to always keep that one there. Look, that retracement. My goodness. How in the world can you handle that kind of 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 moves like that? Australian 200 must be the same. I'm very sure. And, yep, full bar yesterday. We're still looking uh no very uh there we i think it is the midline so so any signal of going down would be quite nice uh from there the dash so everything must be up at the moment yeah so what a beautiful target on all of these were so with precision the market i did uh, there so that it is so it closed me off now there and that's how it should be so, you know, we got the, the strategy, we got what we, we know it works, and that's in this kind of there, we will be um, doing that. Look, the target over there, right in the, in the, in the target, and that's it. No more doing from that, and that's it. Uh, Bitcoin is, well, basing right in the top from the break. So, that's it. So, that's, um, I hope so you are doing the Bitcoin as well. Like I say, you don't need to um, really, you know, get, get if you just get things here and things there. Now, one of the leading currencies always in here is, you know, that um, the um, the Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin normally follow. So that would be a nice setup, you know, it is so you can if you try this platform, you can say, OK, at two to four, I'm wanting um, uh, two hundred twenty four dollars. I want to buy uh, that one there, the asset. That's a nice uh, retracement for the first week with a monthly down, week up trades. And that's it. Litecoin, I think, is, uh, yep, it's basing somewhere over there. This is another beautiful ABC. And, um, and that should be now the trade from there. Okay. So that's cool. And then um, that's it. We finish it. All right. That's all for on the next week. We're going to have this guy, and uh, this is going to be our our new uh, way of system. So yesterday we were looking um, 
we were looking the trays uh, with the other one over here it was I think I think I can use this one I'm very sure um, because here I have data and it's gonna be more quicker to to rely so let's have a look no that one this one here okay there's that one uh, this one over there so let's look the yesterday we were looking that let's look at a, another sort of few weeks back and uh, what we say is that um so that's the euro well, we say that this this is what I like it of this one, you know, because on the numbers, we don't see what had happened week and a half later. So we only see this. So when we see the euro in that position, that was the 29th of uh, September 2016. So I come over here and that's 2016, uh, September, November, October, September and the 29th. Uh, somewhere over here so that's the 29 there so we're gonna lock in that one over here we're gonna lock in that one over there and that's it so now the job is coming over here we got a day up so we want to see the British pound and the pound is has come down for quite a while so both has coming down so I, I don't know if you remember when we used to do this one actually the the, the paid currency that we have to put in our watch list it was when two of these are coming down you remember that richard you remember that that was actually quite interesting because through this period the euro pound will do what it will go sideways it will not move up neither down and that was the key and then from that day we wait the day that one of these is say i got enough i'm leaving there so if we look that one on the euro pound this is what we're going to find but these things will no play fair to me. Okay, so where are you? Uh, there you are. And um, so, and here we see that the 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 euro wants to go up, and the pound wants to go um, down. Now, one of the things as well that I'm looking with this one is I want to try the the break. Uh, you know, in the first trade that we do. You know, if this is my, my trade, so I want to trade the breakout of here instead of the midline because that's my first break. That's what I'm looking to go short. And that, and, uh, and it seems like, a, yeah, the, the um, 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 ah, what am I talking here? So what has happened here? I'm just sorry. I just got some time this morning, something that bad happened to me. So just my mind is a bit a bit crunchy <laughs> but that's okay so what happened here the the euro on the night 29 no that's the 26th of september you am in the 29th uh, that it is so that's the 26th sorry for that um so on the 26th of september we see that from all these day one two three four days what the market has done over there so all these days, one, two, three, four days, and that day the market jumps. All right. So now we trading with the trend. So that's that's not the trend. It's when he, against the trend we need to be looking for the breakout. So if here I said I want to trade the ABC from from that one over here, so the market will come over there, and maybe then following day this date. Um, oh, this is the four hours, by the way. It's supposed to be looking. And the uh, one hour, sorry for that. This was um, there. Um, so that 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 is um, there. So the market comes over here, stop us over there, and that's it. That was that was the 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 trade we do. So that one didn't go much. Australia. So that's um, we look in Australia. It's been actually trading quite okay. So now both are in the same direction, so we're not interested in that. We're looking at something that diverge, which is the Euro New Zealand, um, according to the to that. And um, uh, now the reason the Euro, I think you're going to avoid that one. The, the, roots, the reason that the Euro New Zealand has today, because the New Zealand the day before did have like that. So, and as you see, 
the market actually, you know, it was looking to go short. So this is one of the crazy days. Uh, so two days there, we won in the first day. We don't want in the second day. Um, there. So Euro Swiss going the same direction, Euro Yen, uh, same direction. So it seems like a, it's not really much um, in here. Euro Canadian is up and it's going up. So same direction. And then we're looking at the Euro Swiss same direction. So if we see that that is was not quite um, quite nice that one there. And anyway, so that's happened. The market continue going up, continue going up, continue going up until this day. And that date is the 10, 11, the 12th of October. So when I'm looking the 12th of October there, I can now start making my assessment from there. So I have to come over here and do the same job what the pound is doing at that so both in the same direction no interesting what the australia is doing now we got the australia very strong as it's been going we got a now you see that both are in the same direction from here even from that point up 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 and here we got a divergence so right over there i need to be looking what the euro australia is doing in that moment and that it is the euro has and Australia has uh, a divergent there, and I like that day. You know, if I if I draw a lines, you know, we can see that this one actually is that uh, um, maybe the um, the number three, which is a weekly retracement, and perfect over there. And right from there is the buy. Now I was say yesterday I want to show you the difference on how we're gonna filter some trades. And uh, if we're looking from there, you know, if we come in at 12 hours, by the 12 hours over here, we already um, can see that we are below to the midpoint. The don't change, change, put the trade, and that's a nice. Um, there here, I say, oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There it is. So right in that day, we are below to the midpoint line. The color maybe already is in a red, and that it is. So... You know, now we're trading with the trend. So when is the trend? I would have set up both. So if the market comes over there, that's 80 pips, 90 pips. But from there is the nice, you know, 460. If we go to there, 300 pips, I would be happy. And this this is can really make us the difference. So this is the hunting over here, uh, New Zealand. So both in the same direction. So we know interesting in that. So in Monday, this is you going to receive it. Um, this one over there, in um, in that Euro Swiss and direction, no interesting Euro Yen. Got a little bit of, you know, this is it seems like a, a, it's been coming up there. So we need to assess that a moment over there, and the only thing we do is by putting over here. So if we got a line, it's a nice break. Yeah, possible is a nice break. Over there now. What I don't like it is stay there. Every time I put this chat over there, eh? ah, it did. <laughs> um, so that it is. So that's that's what uh what we got. We got a beautiful resistance, beautiful breakout, and um and from there is you know if we put in if we come in later and we see the market retrace, we can put the the. That one did, and the market, you know, moves nicely from here to there, 200 pips. Uh, beautiful one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dates of running. And um, and and this is the four hours. It's, it's quite, quite cool, really, at the end of the day, uh, that moment there. Um, Canadian. So... So from here, both has been going up, 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 up. So that's been, you know, this is where you can put in your watch list and say, okay, we got a, a semi strength, but the day when everything is going opposite is when we need to be looking over there. So in here, we can come up with that, uh, a nice trend line. And we say that by that time is enough. You know, we, we got even the day before it would it you know, tell me the Canadian. You see, one thing as well I'm looking is when this one is going neutral, that means it has no strength, well, even up or down, it's just there. 
and then at the first date the which was the 11 and that would have been taken on the 11 which is there and that's definitely you know another thing that i that i'm looking um with that one over here so in euro us that's it that's um quite nice um euro us and that's unfortunately as we're looking over there now what is the difference in here you see that they through this day both coming down they both are neutral if we're looking over there both are neutral until date but this day something happened so here we got one two three four days going nowhere but here that date we have a move with the us and that was on the 10 which is you know possible somewhere over there and if we're looking on the 11 and i come over here so in the 10 i did not have anything there uh if i look the 11 that for me and i'm looking over here and i say yep this is this is that uh um um quite nice stay here And um, and we are below to the midline. We are everything over here, and and that's it. So that's the break, and that's 240 pips. So that's that's the job that um you know we just need to keep looking um there. So on Monday you will receive this um this one there over here, and uh, as I say, what we're looking really from there is uh, these days over there. You know, so we test in the way up, we test in the way down. But that day, the pound it has, which is, was the 12, 13, 14, 15 of September. And if I go here and I look in the... No, September, sorry. 15 of September is right over there. Uh, it is a working version or a tactic. It's just... Uh, what you mean uh, static i would say so what i do myself because i have a, a data source uh which is you know hiding over there and then it plays over here so it's only once a day the data comes a daily data so i have a um um yeah i have a, a there so here i put it every day the data so then you just play with this one over here that doesn't move that data until the next day over there all right so that's how um, it works so here it is it is we got a day down we look in the euro what the euro is doing now here is a divergence from here so that's mean i'm i'm interested in something that just happened uh right now um both at the moment the next day i think it would be good with the the um pound australia so if i look at over there the pound Australia, as you see, the next day was the day that um, the to look over here. So if I look the next day, now I have a divergent. The Australia is going up. The pound is going down. I have the the prices up below to the line. Uh, the don't change, change. And here I can because it's it's right in the app. I can only use the break cow. And you know even there's five hundred, there's nine hundred and that's 200 pips but you see it's right over here so the opportunities will show up and as we're looking from here this one will hold you all the way down here you might think to move your stop loss which is one two three three weeks four weeks in a row there all right this is very very exciting um how that unfortunately I, I think it two weeks of data will be nice to have it but you know i just was asking this week to do that any, anyway so new zealand the same thing in uh as we see over here the new zealand pound new zealand um it got the same day as the pound australia and if we're looking over here uh, we see right there okay and um and and unfortunately with the pound new zealand you know I, I think it once you you know you are in a in a nice profit that's the fractus is a nice place to put a stop loss 
200 pips with it, you know, nicely uh, combined. And now, as you see over here that with the pound New Zealand, we got a day up. So from that point, we only looking, you know, everything that is coming down, everything that is down and trade the break from, from those levels over there, you know, and, and that's when the market. So here, through, if you see the line charts over there, never telling us to look for longs, never telling. Actually, look the longs for the opportunity to do what? To trade in short, to trade in short, to trade in short until the market, you know, just pound your ceiling is, is one of the highest volatile currencies ever. I have a friend that only trades this currency anyway. Here, both come down one day up, not really much excitement for that. And, um, and as you see, it's the following day that actually there, it was, you know, the trend is already down. That's what the pound Swiss, I, I don't have anymore because it's, it's very, very difficult uh, currency to look. Pound yen, that is what we're looking. And uh, there it is. So pound yen right in that day. What happened in that day? You know, we see that um, we, we got that um, um, the, here, the dungeon, you know, is below to the midpoint. Uh, possible all the, the bars are red and this is when we just you know put at 100 pips maximum stop loss and the market was generated with 500 pips now if you say one to three and you want in 300 pips it's not that quite good um, the plot are not from the daily index meter that I, I display this week but it's from the one I did many years ago so it's a it's a different um, um data that i have for this one and richard so all right so anyway so that's the that's the only way to do it. this one you know looking as you see this one is is not quite good actually one two three days later with the pound canadian uh it says to me that uh that it was so that it is one two three days and um And there we are. So we got a break even first. And if you're looking through all this season over there, you know, when we're looking right over there in the 29, uh, which is 26, 27, 28, and 29, you know, these things, it was very clear to say what the direction it is. But the most important thing is where are we relate to the midpoint? That's something that you need to be, you know, looking after very, very well. And from that, um, that's the try. So we need to be aware on that day that the market, if, the, if you know, we're looking to, to, you see in here, I would not be looking to go long. I would not be looking to go long. Why? Because pound Canadian in the, in the line chat, lot, you know, is telling us no way. So I'm looking there. Now it makes sense that day. Now I can, you know, set up both or whatever. And that's a nice 1,700 pips um, run. All right. So we'll see how we go. And things will be running uh, quite nice from that point onwards. Now, um, before I go, I just want to show you the difference between the one hour and the four hours and how how we want to actually um, set up, you know, by looking what we're looking now. One of the currencies that we looked at uh, last week or this week, it was all the yen crosses. We have a nice day up. So we're looking at that day over here. You know, the index meter was telling us, um, you know, that um, it was telling us that, yeah, we should be looking to go along with the, with the, with the number uh, one over there. But what here is telling us, so that's when you know we know that we cannot listen the 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 number one. It's different when we have this. Where are we now relate to the four hours? So what are we going to be doing is not to trade against the four hours there. All right. Yeah, the four hours is definitely a filter. Uh, um, I, I will show you in a bit soon, but I just let me let me get a just 
the side cut over there, and the same here, you know. So the color had never changed. Yes, we are about the midline, but look how bearish it looks like there. And it never was, actually was a short over there. It's still in this trade running, so hopefully it will be there. Uh, today's data for the daily index meter, the Euro Australia 50 for four, so we look for sales in the Euro Australia. Um, the Euro Australia, we're looking for sales. Now, you know, I don't, I don't, if I look in now the new index meter with the Euro Australia, and we're looking to go short, um, Euro in Australia, uh, that's where we are. So, uh, Euro is actually on his, you know, kind of way up. Now, I don't understand the data of here. The calculation of the index is a mystery for me. It's just that, you know, I got this one over there. So when I see this and I see this, I actually avoid those trades. So that's how the filter is going to be. We might miss it. That's fine. Okay. We, 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 don't, we don't worry much about that. We might miss that. But if this plot indicator does not telling us Let's go. We should not go. Everybody agrees with me? We see now the powerful of, the, of this line charts indica uh, index indicator. And once we have more data, it, it's going to be, you know, quite nice over there. All right. So Euro, Euro Yen. So that's there. Pound Yen the same. Uh, looking... Uh, Pound yen, so look here. The one hour would be telling you, Oh, yes, look for longs, and, and everything's going to be all right. But what happened here? All right, so if we look in that, look at a beautiful change the color, you know, everything looks okay. But what is telling us here? Can you see now the difference? That actually, in the one now, we can use this pullback to add positions over here. What are you reckon, Helen? That is gold. Don't you reckon that? So every time the market pulls over there, uh -uh, as the Lauren say, we use it as a filter, this, these things over there. Australian yen, the same thing over here. If we look at the one out over there, you know, I did go short. I got a stop out. And, uh, and, and now look where we are over there. We're still with the redness. It's Friday. You know, so I'm still, if I want to trade that, I want to trade the breakout over there. Now, if I look at Australia, the, the Australia is flat. It has, like, a, like I said, Australia has big moves with the other index meter. But uh, we better, you know, uh, just listen to this index meter. You know, that's, that's I think we, you know, in the past, we tested this quite strong uh, at the end of the day. So here is another one. The New Zealand was in a um, sort of kind of strength, all this there. But what happened here? So instead of that, what we're going to be doing here? And we did that trade in the New Zealand yen. So I got the short, I'm still holding there. And now that the market is somewhere over there, I just move my stop loss over here. And that's it. So Lauren said, are you 20 on both? One hour and four hours. Yes, I'm 20 in both, uh, um, uh, Lawrence. Yeah, so so even even today, you know, I could say we're still below to the midpoint. I'm going to be trading short over there. All right, so that's that. But uh, at the moment, if we look at the New Zealand uh, yen, um, look where the New Zealand yen it is. It's actually saying to us we should be looking to go short over there, isn't it? So that's going to be the beauty of this, how we're going to filter these, um, these things. Look, for example, if I came at the 12 hours and I look over there, I say, oh, beauty, you know. And that's what I recommend. And the first break, do not try the midpoint. The midpoint would be nice when the market is already in his way down and we know the market retrace, then we can get the midpoint. So at the beginning, we need to get the breakouts. Are you agree with me? And, uh, and that it is. And then, you know, we can actually change in the, in the EA from the four hours. We look over there. We look over there. Yeah, I'm trading the break. And that's the break. And the next day, uh, a break even over there. And that's how, how, how good we can, you know, do this one with uh, no much problem. So as the New Zealand US the same. So I got the trade from here. I think I, I still alive in that one there. Is, it seems like a, it's changing direction, but we did the right thing 
uh, with that one now. If we look in uh, on here, uh, where is, so where is there? Right over there. Um, we look in right over here. You know this when you see that pull back like that, you know, and you see this, you know what you're gonna do from there, isn't there? There is no more, you know, thinking about it. There is no more there. We know that that day, at the end, you know that if you come in at the twelve hours, look what it, what everything is indicated. So for entries, you know that one hour can put us into into those trades, and and um and that's it. All right. So the Australian is being a bit cheeky, you know. After such a nice, uh, no, that's in New Zealand. Sorry, the Australia was about to put. Um, so here is another up there, and yes, I enter and move my stops right to the next day where it should be, should be going. And now this one is threatened. Now this one I have in my chats to go long because the market has changed from you know from there to to there. And if I look in the US and the Australia, that's what I wanted. So right over there, I got what I'm looking for, you know, and I wanted the so I got the one hour. I wanted even the four hours would be good to trade over there. And then we know that you know 60, 60 50 pips would be now. So same when when we see over here, when uh, we were below over there, look what, what has happened over there. Look that day. So that's the beauty of this that uh, you know we need to see below about if we know sure at that point of there at the 12 hours you should be sure by that time over here because the market is already moving towards that one and that one there okay so that's um that's there all right um just got five more minutes i just want to run quickly through through here um so new zealand there so as we see it's continue looking short so here i continue looking i put in the one hour because when i come to the four hours over here, look where the market did hit. So there it is, changing the color, index meter, put the trade, and that's a nice, you know, uh, pips run over there. That was my first trade. Then the market uh, moved to to break even, and uh, that's the next trade over there. So now I can readjust my stop loss to there and move on from that one there. So here I've got that beautiful trade from there. 300 pips, the market put me back again and 50 or 60 pips is gone. And now possible looking this one to, to um, you know, uh, uh, still a little bit more and I'll see over there. So here, short, short, short. Now, if you look at the, the winners with the losses and maybe now here um, it looks to me that uh, it is it's changing the color. So I'm going to now change this one to the buy breakout. I got a 50 pips for this one, or even 30 would be good. But um, yeah, 50 pips should be enough for, for that one. That always reset the, the, the count, so otherwise you will not be triggered by the next day. Now, this is the one we saw yesterday, remember? How many of you remember we were over here and we say, yeah, we like that one there. And as well, we were looking at the index meter. The Australia New Zealand was actually quite, um, uh, 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 there it is. New Zealand down, Australian flat. So that's a neutral and that is telling us over here. And there we are. How good is that? Right from there, one trade, two trades. Still running, still moving my stop bit by bit, and you don't stress on the so this is the one the market moves 215 is coming back. So break keeping it was in place. That's that's okay, and not do anything more. Now here you see we got a change of the pound from about to below the 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 the, the um the color change. So I want to be looking this pound Canadian how effective um, that it is. So pound is there, Canadian is uh, uh, is over here. Canadian is over there. So as we see over here, 
Canadian pound is up, Canadian is down, that, so that doesn't make sense in that trade. So what I do, just leave it alone. So here was my trade, the market moves 120, we are already in break even in the 100, and, um, and that's it. Same with that one, that was my trade, move the stop loss, that's it. So in, in, um, in another moment, uh, it looks like a pound Australia, there we are. So, yeah, to say that um, this big move, you know, the, 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 this index meter does not be impressed, but I, I, I'm looking to that. Um, this is actually perfect setup for me to look for shorts. Um, there, uh, sell breakout with 100 pips stop loss, and it will be settled over there. So that's, we'll see that one there. And this one really, you know, more than anything else, there are three things that I've been looking over here only, all right? And uh, sometimes with the index meter, sometimes without the index meter. So what I'm looking is the price, where it's traveling over here, okay, above or below. I'm looking for the turning point. So here the market is from there, it has coming down, 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 and that it is. So that's number one. Number two, the midline, where the price is, regardless to the midline. And number three, the dungeon over there. And pull the tray. So the market is uh, here. We look in the index uh, there. And we're looking over there. And we're looking over here. And that it is. We're looking over there. Maybe a loss. This is a winning. Nothing happened in that break. As you see, we want to test the break over here. And... Um, and that's it. All right. So that's how, how you know, the, the, the things will be running for the next week. Uh, so we're looking quickly over there. So right over here at the beginning of the week, what did I have? The price, it was about the midline, the, the color trends, and pulled the trigger over there. Now I'm bearish, such incredible... 200 pips retracement, but look where it, where it was, the entry. So that's the beauty of this. Look from here. The market comes from above to below, put the trigger, get out over there. That's a nice 145. Here, from below to above, change the colors, don't change over there, put the trade, and look, the grid system has been doing a killing over there. So you see, this is a high, sharp move. So it's very nice when the market, you know, just breaks below and goes there. But this one, you know, is volatility that and, and, and work over there. This one the same. That's another one still holding there. Still everything in the red. That's another one. Australian yen about below. Red color, don't change, pull the trigger. Fifth 30, 34 pips. To have 240. How good is that? Huh? Now, if we're looking over here, still nothing, you know. So that's what I, I like here over here. I need to see the, you know, this one there. So here, as you see, was sort of sideways market over there until the market breaks. So here we have volatility moving. That's why the dungeon are no right over there. So that's another one, number one, number two, number three, number four. And that's it. Euro yen, look where the trade was over there. The market is from green to red, below to the midpoint, don't change, and run. The market retraced to the midpoint, still looking to go short, and look where today we can save that entry. How visual is this one? Hmm? The color trend change. The dungeon change, the midpoint change, and that it is. Here, yeah, that's what you didn't see yesterday, uh, Lawrence. So here it is, the change. And now when we look in the 23rd, the 24th, and the old index meter, actually in the 24th, we were having already a signal to go short. And that's the try. That's a nice right and spot on in the pullback. 218. Now, nothing is telling me 
after take that target because the target was based in, in this support over here uh, to continue looking to short, isn't it? So what I did, midpoint. Now we can put the midpoint. You see what I mean? Now we can say because, you know, here the breakout is beautiful. All right. So we save with the breakout. But here we can use the midpoint. And it's going to be occasion, you know, when we're going to have both. But if you're looking over here, when the price is about color change, everything there, that's a nice 135 pips. Market change, color change over here, 87. Color change, blue, everything changed over there, 150. 12, uh, 120. And, and here maybe we got one loss over there. That's fine. Maybe another loss over there. That's fine. Two losses against what? Australia, US. The color changed from about to below, resistant level, uh, midpoint, don't change there, right over there. Next trade. Next trade, we got one loss and two winners. Pound US, the same. Right over here. That was the trade. And that's where it, where it, where it goes. Now, this one um, there in the four hours trade, and look what it is. And even in the one hour time frame, if I look the Euro US, look where I actually I pulled the trigger over there. Now, this is this, I have a lot of sort of, you know, errors with this one because in the one hour, you know, without the, 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 the four hours, it really can up. But it's exactly the same thing. Now we will test the one hour and the four hours, and this is why I have uh, set up now like this one. And we're looking with that. All right, my friends, uh, Helen said it's become very visual, which is great for me, the confusion and less decisions, yes. Have a nice weekend. Um, yeah, the week is not that quite profitable. Hopefully the trades of today will upset some losses, but otherwise we take the losses. Uh, swallow our tears and lick the, the next week with this one, okay? Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Cheers. Have a beautiful weekend and see you next week. Cheers.